Africa is the second largest continent after Asia. It is separated by the Swiss Canal, the Gulf of Suisse, the Red Sea, and from Europe by its Straits of Gibraltar and Mediterranean Sea. When we talk about languages, the number of languages spoken in Africa has been variously estimated at between 800 and 1,700. Five major stocks are generally recognized. Afro-Asiatic languages, dominant in North Africa and the Horn, include Berber, Cushitic, Semitic, Chad, and Coptic languages. In education, education standards, facilities, and programs vary considerably and reflect differences in class, ethnicity, sex, and location. In all countries, Literacy rates for women are lower than those for men. For males than females attend primary school in urban education is superior to rural. With regards to their religion, the dominant religion of Northern Africa is Islam, which replaced Christianity in the 7th century and spread west and south across the Sahara. From his first play, The Swamp Dwellers, which was produced in London in 1958, most of Suyinka's theatrical works have been seen on English and American as well as Nigerian stages. Two volumes of his collected plays have been published in the year 1973 and 1974, as well as such later plays as Death and the King's Horsemen in the year 1975, Opera Wonyosi in the year 1979, and a play of giants in the year 1984. Another poet named Chinua Akibi, who is a Nigerian novelist and poet, whose first novel, Things Fall Apart. Another poet named John Pierre Clark, also a Nigerian poet, dramatist, and literary critic, who contributed significantly to the Nigerian Renaissance of the late 50s and early 60s. And lastly, James Ngugi Wathyong O, born in Kenya, who is considered the most important East African, African literature, literature represents the breadth and depth of, of universal experiences of men. Of men.